Brought to you by the Odd Pod Squad. Comedy, music, reviews, news, history, current affairs, and much more. See more from the home of all your Odd Podcasters on Twitter at Odd Pod Squad. If you're having a pie, you need Alan's mobile discos. He's got his own van and his own speakers. He's got every track from ABBA to Zappa. And show what he wanted. Yeah, so if you want a party, then you need Alan's mobile discos. He's in the phone book. Get him booked. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Never A Straight Answer, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm Gaz, your host, and joined by, joined as always, uh, my co-host, the man he used to be in Anonymous, but he's shown his face now, it's Mr. Taylor. Yeah, you're right, fella. Yeah, not too bad, man. Um, yeah, really buzzing that, like, last week... Um, yeah. The live stream went down so well. It seems uh, to have gone down uh, really well. People yeah. uh, 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 enjoyed it. I think they did, and uh, I've had so many people turn around now and say, "Oh, you should do that every week." Yeah. And I mean, I wish yeah. I could at the moment, but we can't. And to be honest, can't be asked. It was a big. It was it's a big, big mess. Setup. It was a big setup. It took me two days to to break it all down yeah. when I could be asked and when I wasn't working. And um, yeah, but no, it was worth doing, and we'll yeah. definitely do another one in the future. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. At some point, but it takes kind of the, the the event out of it, doesn't it? If we do one every week. So, yeah, that's true. That is very true. Yeah, I didn't think of it in that. Enjoyed kind of it. Yeah, way. definitely do one again. So thank you for everybody who got involved and yeah. um, called up and you know just helped out with bits of kit. Because, like I say, we begged, stole, and borrowed yeah. to get everything ready for the night, and um, I think it worked out pretty well. So, I think, I think, uh, well, I, I've had nothing uh, said a bad about it. To be I honest. haven't it's actually. Just been like, can you do more? Yeah, it was, it was like, like the, the uh, got, we got compliments on the professionalism of the yeah. setup and kind of the stream and people. how how well it was. Kind of, you know, to oh. be fair, right. I didn't know what was going to happen because normally we pre-prepare these shows yeah. really quite, you know, as as well as, as we, can, we can, right? And um, last week it was like went in with literally no topic, no sort of yeah. um, real... We had a few news stories lined up just to keep the conversation flowing, but we managed to do a three-hour show on with just minimum. on just bare minimum yeah. and like you know and it was all down to kind of participation with questions from YouTube on YouTube yes, and the call people ups. calling in yeah it brilliant yeah and I'd like to do more call-ins in the future as well so yeah, yeah so yeah. I mean even though we just generally do the podcast but we can pre-arrange stuff so if you're interested yeah. and you want to join us on the show be a guest just have a chat then yeah. get on or give us a shout give us your thoughts tell us what like you think of some of the stuff we talk about yeah or even if you've got a topic you're interested in and yeah. we can kind of like put put in our two cents if we know anything about it or suppose. if you know something about something that's gone on and you uh, you want to tell us to tell the viewers yeah so we're telling yeah, yourself we'll get you to tell them. Yeah. yeah there you go there you go um, but other than that what have you been up to this week um, I've, I've been quite busy yeah I've been busy as well Oh, been yeah, doing the, uh, the 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 usual work and um, then uh, on the topic for tonight and also uh, quite a bit of news. I think going right into some of the news lately. I must admit. To be honest, it's like this bit. This topic this week has been um, so in depth that I wanted to kind of do as much of a deep dive as I could yeah. and try and find out as much information as I could because it's um, quite prominent in the news at the moment. There's a oh, couple yeah. of news stories that we're going to cover tonight which generally tie in directly to that yeah. as well. Um, and I think, we're, you know, it's, it's probably the greatest conspiracy theory ever. To be honest, yeah. or one of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's most, definitely. it's the most, it's a story that's in history. In history, and yeah. it sparked off so many different um, TV shows, comics, um, yeah. radio sort of plays. Yeah, you dad it all together, I you mean, must say at least a trillion part. Of course. I mean, in terms of like cultural um, sort of um, having a cultural impact, yeah. Yeah, this conspiracy or this topic in particular yeah. has, has had more impact than. 
than everything. The yeah. mo- the 99% of, of um, things that kind of get put out on the internet are kind of fear. Yeah, and a lot and of people like on subjects that we talk about hit that hit that, that area first as well, think, right, yeah. well, it started from here. Well, it didn't actually start from there, but... Yeah, of course, but but like I say, it's these big events that happen, yeah. and um, yeah, we've. I think you might have je- got the gist. Um, yeah. Obviously, this week's episode fifty-one, so we so, thought we'd do area, area 51. fifty-one. You know, we you know keep it. Yeah. You know, there you go. Keep yeah, it. Keep. Well, Keep yeah. the mystery in there a little. I like it anyway, but like, um, it's been a long time coming, and we've had a lot of people say, "Why don't we cover it?" So, yeah. like, yeah, we're gonna do a, a big deep dive into everything we could find out about Area Fifty One, yeah, and, and um, there is quite a lot. So, t- I was like, showing him my phone book size, yeah. um, you know, reference material for tonight. So, yeah, um, I've got to go through them papers as well. Yeah, man, I've got to have a look through them. Oh yeah, because well, I've, uh, I've just got all the um, the. Declassified documents, do you know, when um, it, back in 2012. Yeah, they're pretty open as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah but there's not a lot of dark lines. Usually you get like shitloads of every, dark lines. Everything's and then just been censored. What? Well, oh, no, because it's supposed to protect people involved, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of thing. Or, do you know, this other sensitive material about yeah. people, key people who benefactors, finances. Yeah, but most of the time. I don't know. You might as well not bring it out. Oh, totally, because it just says, it just says, yeah, uh, 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 yeah 965. Uh, uh, Captain. Not only that, it gets <laughs> yeah. people thinking what are the words in between and gets people yeah, but that, maybe that's guessing just, in the wrong areas. Exactly, I was going to say that's just a, uh, you, probably you know, their just plan in the a, first place. Having a stab in the dark at something. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got, some, got quite a lot of news to get through as well, to be fair. Yeah. So, is there anything yeah. you want to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, I've got to, I've got to stand up and salute the three lads in Australia, Sydney, oh, Australia. Right, go on. Um, four days ago. Oh, is this part of the what what happened over there? Right, basically, uh, four lads, Paul, Luke, and Lee, uh, was walking back to their office, and um, uh, there was a, a man running round. Uh, stabbed a woman in the back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then uh, tried stabbing other people. He was jumping on top of cars and that. <clears throat> and uh, these uh, three lads from Manchester, who uh, were they from Manchester? They were, or, uh, they and were they were just Manchester, over yeah. there having a, a holiday yeah. or just visiting a summer. Paul was an ex-professional uh, footballer. Right, okay. And he's uh, moved over there. I don't know if the other lads So have, they take it, a couple of the lads have gone over potentially to go and visit or whatever. But I think they were working. And unions, that's the bottom line. Yeah. Good, right, so yeah. go on, crack and on with the story. They're, uh, they're, obviously, uh, they're obviously saying like uh, they're not heroes, but you know what? You don't get uh, too many people. Would so what do did they. they exactly do? Did they kind of intervene, well, stop were, the guy? What what did they, well, what they was the end result? They were back from uh, lunch and then they heard that there was a, a bit of commotion. So uh, one of them, uh, Luke, um, set off to see what was going on. And he seen this guy like was uh, trying to stab people and he, he fought together like, we need, you know. We could we take him. To, yeah, we need to stop this, you know what I mean? No yes. one else is helping here. So, um, and this is in the. Well, I'm not encouraging district. people to be a hero, but obviously, you if you're in the situation and you can they didn't size even think it about up, it, apparently, if you, you know, but yeah, no, but well, oh, great. It I was mean, just a case of we just need to stop him because they've had that conversation, apparently. Right. They've okay. had the conversation. If like, anything, if something yeah. like that was to happen, yeah. what would they do? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so basically, the uh, it's the, crazy what you talk about, isn't it? it when, is. you, when you're in a group of mates. Yeah. But yeah, well done for the lads. Yeah, they, nice one, guys. They, they brought them down, um, and uh, then the police come and all that. It wasn't ended up being a terrorist. Was this this guy who they put a crate over his head? Yeah, they put, that's right. Yeah. I seen the pictures of that, and it was saying this is how this is how the um, down. the the subdue a terrorist yeah. in Australia. Yeah. But that was Mancunians, yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Mancunians. Good yeah. on you, lads. Well, apparently but, the guy had uh, stabbed a woman, uh, killed a woman in a flat uh, not that far away. It's but, crazy but, at the moment because there's a lot of this about. On the news and everything that you see, it's I mean, even right, it's got to be something actually really, really fucking horrendous to make the news this because comes it's down like to mental health. I know, wow, well, did it? Yeah, right. Was apparently I, I, while they were holding him down, he was shouting, uh, "Fuck you, kill me, um, uh, uh, shoot me, I, I want to die." Right. Okay. So there was definitely something going yeah, on. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It, there's definitely no other suspects, and there's uh, uh, great on the lads for doing that, man. Too many. Three brave lads. 
yeah, good on you. Yeah. So yeah, big Brilliant respect boys. to you guys. Anyone, yeah, I mean, anyone who kind of, um, it was like that guy. Um, I mean, I think when when shit happens, I've always thought about this as well. Do you know? Especially when I don't use public transport a lot, mm. but. Do you know if you think about when you're on a on a bus, say, yeah. and you think, well, what would happen if this? What would happen if the bus yeah. went yeah. and crashed? Totally and then one. you know, would I be kind of one of the people who'd be help, Flung. help? I'm injured. Yeah. I need help. Or would I be one of the people who would be helping? Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And or like, walking would, away. Or, yeah, or walking you know, away, I, right? Just getting off and it. taking care of yourself. Yeah. So Some it's like, shock, you know, just what what would you do in that situation? Me, I, I, I have to go in and out. I'd, I'd have to go in yeah. and out as well, to be yeah, honest. I, I, I must admit the same with... Uh, uh, I'm not a big fella, you know what I mean? No, or no, even no. the same as what the lads did with uh, the, the knife. If there was something I could do about it, yeah, even yeah. to tempt him, uh, the person away from the rest of the crowd, then, yeah. Definitely. I think it's like when... I think when there's a big tragedy or when there's something happen, yeah. that happens, like um, take the Manchester bombing, for yeah. example... When that happened, I was so, even though Shots it was a horrible an event, but it did, and it kind of brings community back and stuff. Yeah. We've talked about this, yeah. I think, in the past, where we say, you know, um, I was, I loved how many people opened up the homes and yeah. offered lifts yeah. to people who were stranded there um, that couldn't get home or you know just That's needed help. People. And um, it, you know, it was the it... odd one who kind of fucked it up for themselves. Yeah, yeah when they don't even want to talk yeah, about that, got... but. Rob yeah. someone. Well, he, he was played to be a hero a bit, yeah. but then like we found that, that out a bit later on that he was interviewed on the on the news and everything, you know, and kind of to- totally took the praise. I think yeah. so the fact I think people did a Kickstarter campaign for the guy. Yeah. Right. He did. To yeah. get him help and everything, and then it turned out he was robbing Scamming him. everyone. Yeah, him. so you know, anyway, fuck that. Yeah. So but what I'm getting at is that's one bad apple. Yeah. When everybody else in the city sort of bands together and you know yeah. pulls together and they kind of show what we're really made of as a, a, as shame. a race, as a species. Do you know what I mean? It's just so. a shame that an incident uh, has to. Uh, oh well, no, it ha- has to occur before everyone goes. Cares to, for yeah. each other, yeah. And it kind of does kind of cement that what Reagan was saying about you know an outside threat if something was coming out to get you get us as a species yeah, as yeah. a planet we'd be fucked then we'd be, we'd, 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 exactly, we'd be fighting we'd, each other exactly we'd be fighting each other just yeah. to work out what we're going to do yeah, about it yeah, totally, yeah. Totally. so we'd probably blow each other up before they get an opportunity yeah. so yeah um i found this quite interesting story um in the mirror this week Oh. um i thought well have you ever wondered where um cornflakes come from uh, or why they were created? I know, yeah. I, I, I've I, never wondered I, it to be honest, but I have heard this before. And when I saw the story, I thought, actually, I'm going to bring this up. Yeah, I've known this for years, but I don't think the viewers have so. So, um, turns out the rather dull cornflakes breakfast cereal might actually have a rather bizarre origin story. So, um, it doesn't really say much about it in the article. Yeah. So it says, have you ever stopped to wonder where cereal comes from? Um, and why it was created in the first place? No, me neither. But um, this week, thousands of people on the internet have become extremely curious about the history of Kellogg's cornflakes. And it's um, all thanks to a viral post on Facebook and Twitter, the post encouraging people to Google um, or ask Google why cornflakes were invented, um, adding, um, you will thank me later. So people have been um, doing it. Um, I encourage you to do it as well. I know the answer. I know the answer. I've known for years, man. Well, I'll tell you. Right, anyway. So, um, John Kellogg, um, he was a physician and um, an anti-sex campaigner. Um, he's said to believe that eating um, a bland diet would help reduce sex urges. So, um, this, some people think that cornflakes um, with being bland were yeah. developed to stop people from getting those urges. And it's actually funny because I think there was a thing about prisoners getting a, yeah. a, an altered tea where they'd yeah. make a tea and they'd make make it with um, a, anti-sex, uh, suppre- a sex suppressant. Yeah, I think they had of, that in the 80s. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't so be what, the cornflakes in tea? Yeah. yeah, and then the fucking whatever though. else, something in the water. But yeah, it's mad that, well, I mean, obviously it's some people think yeah. So you can't really take it as that it's it's gospel. Well, well, I have heard that before. I have to admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 
heard it uh, years ago, and I was surprised when I first heard it. And he was like, "Really?" But from what I heard it from, it was uh, true. Yeah, it was like, well, it's it seems to be. I used to go. I used to be one of the uh, people who go around and go. Did you know? Did what you know? Were yeah, like oh, but, pub facts. Yeah, I've got some like, pub facts. Do you yeah, know, man. I've got loads. Um, what I was going to yeah. say is I'd still recommend that you Google, ask Google what it is used for, because yeah. obviously... Um, so sweet. No, nah, they'll have she, their own... The she, she, Alexa or something will have her own little twist on it, I'm sure. Yeah, she's shit. Yeah. she just turn around and go, it's what you have in the morning. Something you eat and instead of like, toast. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Or there are other bre- br- uh, blends that you can have. Other, other breakfast but, cereals yeah. are available. What does Cocoa Pops do then? Or oh, Frosties? Frosties aren't bland. Cocoa Pops aren't bland, really. Frosties. Frosties. Frosties? Well, I don't... Because they're cornflakes really with a like bit of zhuzh, zhuzh, to be honest. aren't they? And Crunchy Nut Cornflakes. Crunchy Nut Maybe, nut maybe Crunchy Nut Cornflakes is putting the nut back in your nuts. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Bum, yeah. You can have that one, Kellogg. Oh, shit. So, I've got a, got a story. Oh, God. A bit cramped here today. Um, got a mysterious hidden door that oh, was wow. welded shut in a haunted building and it's been open for the first time um, since. The owners of Nottingham Haunted Museum have kept the door shut for more than a year, um, scared that the, of what they might find oh, beneath it. Just a year? No, no, they vo- they opened it a year ago, oh, but right, they've kept okay. the door shut. Yeah. Yeah, so the mysterious hidden door um, was welded shut behind a fake wall yeah. in a haunted building. Yeah. Um, this was open for the first time, and um, Marie and Steve um, Wesson, owners of the Nottingham's Haunted Museum, yeah. discovered um, the venue on, venue's only metal door under a layer of plasterboard. Um, when they acquired the old um, picture house last year. Yeah. So, obviously, they've discovered it, but it's been welded shut behind a plasterboard for God knows how long. Spooky. Right. Okay. So, but obviously the place is meant to be haunted, but they've yet to go in. So um, now they've opened it. Um, they've basically sent a load of par- paranormal enthusiasts go um, in there, in have there a look. yeah, and they finally cracked it open. Inside, uh, Maria claims that she's found five pointed pentagram stars made out of charcoal, um, a grubby old teddy bear, and a collection of white candles burnt down to the stubs. It was a shock. For the forty-four-year-old um, who explained that to to find a brick wall on the other side of the door, so fucking mad. So Both yeah, the places there is a there, picture. So. I mean, like you know, you couldn't believe. It. I mean, it, it's weird when you think. I always remember there was a TV show on on um, BBC. It was one of these kids shows. Um, can't remember what it's called now, but it, they found. Um, they, they had a cellar when they didn't think they had one. Right. What? In right, the house. Okay. Yeah. So, do you know, like, they, li- they lived in a house. I think it was... I can't remember what it's called. Like, say, it'll come to me. But they were, um, they basically find that they have a secret room in the house. Right. Do you know, like... And it's the kids who discover it. So, like, they're like, yeah, i got a secret room. But you see them on YouTube all the time. Like, people yeah. who've moved into properties and found that it has secret rooms. Yeah, I've always, would. I've always kind of wanted to find something like that in a property I live in. To be honest, yeah, yeah, it'd be quite interesting to see what because it's like a time capsule, isn't it? Nothing's yeah, in been way, touched yeah, in there is. since yeah. uh, since it was sealed. Yeah, but so. you don't know what's in there. That's the problem. Exactly, and why was it sealed? And yeah. why was it a secret in the Got first place? For, yeah, exactly. exactly. So um, investigate yeah. before you open up. Well, I think that's why these guys have left it for a year. To be honest. Bro, well, they I thought know, it was quite an interesting story. Well, obviously it was probably used for some sort of sacrifice or ritual sort of thing and they wanted to keep it hidden. I, th- I, think, I, don't, do- I think ritual, yeah, I don't think uh, sacrifice. Well, I don't know. It's like, oh God, sorry, um, with pentagrams and stuff like that. The teddy might be haunted. Yeah, it could be. It's some yeah, sort of Annabelle yeah, yeah. sort of situation. Oh, what's that uh, fucking um, doll that fucking... Shows? Annabelle, yeah. Oh, oh, Chucky. Chucky, that's it. It's Chucky. Fucking it's Chucky. It. Chucky's coming Chucky's back, isn't he? There. Yeah, Chucky's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like a cross between Ted and Chucky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. some pot-smoking, foul-mouthed little bastard. Who's that likes murdering. Yeah. yeah. Sweet, sounds good. Yeah, sounds like a good movie. This, this Christmas. No, it'd be <laughs> yeah. this October... The killer is available to kill you with his teddy bear knife. 
I don't know. I, I, I'm sure the trailer needs work than that. More yeah. work. Yeah. But, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, have you got any more news you want to talk about? Um, I have, actually. I have, funny enough. I have. Have you heard... Oh, all right, the Umbrella Movement. What's this? In oh, China. yeah, this is in China, isn't it? Yeah. I heard they took over an airport the other week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, so they basically getting... grounded every plane because they just... Could, yeah. They just... How, but they got battered again through, by the police. through customs. Got absolutely battered by the police again. Why? We laughing? need to we need to be a bit more vocal on the on the situation there because otherwise um, it's going to get that bad that um, like someone's going to get seriously hurt or actually killed. Yeah, because they, they're not going in like they're going proper mob handed, aren't they? Yeah. as well. So it only um, takes the Chinese army to like walk in, and the police course. are on the side waiting now. Yeah, but that's the same in in terms of like when we talk about raiding area. But they 51. have no authority. Over Do you know it. what I mean? It's like when you just storm in a place. It's like you. But to be fair, actually, right. One thing I will say about them when they've kind of gone into these government buildings, yeah, and they've uh, they've basically took over. They've raided the place, yeah. but. They've not touched artifacts. They've no. le- actually left notes saying, please don't destroy these. Please yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And they've kind of paid for stuff they've taken. And, you know, they've actually been quite respectful. Yeah. But when, but the other side, like I say, when it's a mob, yeah. mob hand, they're going in mob handed, it's going to scare some people. And then that's when it well, what escalates. What kind of government would use a, a, a mob to <clears throat> uh, attack um, demonstrators? Well... Which it seems to be uh, being portrayed that way. Uh, I have no evidence for it, but there's uh, supposedly. Uh, what do you mean? Like the demonstrators? Well, at one point, yeah, the uh, white shirts when they were in the uh, you know uh, tunnels uh, for the trains. Right. Um, a bunch of uh, blokes in white shirts ended up coming in and attacking. Using like uh, weapons against people, Just, even old ladies. Were they workers they or were they no, they hired? Were, it, well, this is it. This this is what is people portrayed as they were hired uh, by the uh, by the government. Because that sounds in, like. Do you know what that sounds like? Do you know have you ever been walking down? Do you know when you're younger and you go like what, on adventures and stuff, and you yeah. find yourself on a railway track? But if you go through like a depot or a tunnel, yeah, then you're gonna get like network rail security guards after you and stuff do you yeah, know what I mean before it gets escalated to the police just so I can only shirts, assume man. that well white, what, what does white shirts mean it means that uh, that group knows who's who's who yeah, so but they can the, just go in batter everyone in the way and then go off what because they were wearing white shirts no they weren't even arrested they were the ones who uh, ah. did video there's the, the, there's shitloads of video online. Well, well, I'm sure there is, but just because they could be... I'm, I'm not saying that they're not. No, but, but it's like traders a, that it, 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 it was a, a mob. It depends because it's like... A, I watch quite a lot of these videos something. online where it's like, you know, it's questionable whether these people on YouTube are actually breaking the law. Yeah, because they're like, you know, climbing buildings and they're breaking into... Um, or doing overnight challenges where they'll stay in a premises Yeah, but trespass overnight. law is a little different. Yeah, no, uh, but like what I'm getting at... Yeah, no, exactly right. And these kids know their laws. Yeah. But n- it's Go unfortunate on. that not a lot of the security do. Yeah, because... Yeah, that is so some true. Of them, and the police. Some of them. And the police, yeah. Because yeah. some of them go in, like, super heavy-handedly. Yeah. Right, not actually knowing what, what the law the is pro- on it. Yeah. Right? And then the kid, these, these young lads are kind of going... Nah, I think you'll find and showing them up, yeah. right? So, the, if, fuck me, mate, and we that's the people who's supposed that. to be pushing it. So it's like what I'm getting at is it, all it takes is for a, a pissed off security firm who, who were sick of kids and people yeah. coming through their tunnel. Yeah, that they've been told next time anyone comes through, yeah. you fucking sort them out. Well, next now minute, you've got like a gang of people who swarm the place. Yeah, and it's like, well, we've been told. We've but, got to go and deal with it. <laughs> but with I mean? this situ- but with this kind of situation, now the laws change because now, from uh, uh, I think it was last month, um, the law stands that security guards as well as police officers have the right to arrest you for assault, even though you didn't assault them, and you can be even sent into jail for it. What? Just as a if I spat that... in front of an officer, yeah, they not did, even that. Give me shit about yeah, it. Yeah, at the side, I could be done for assault. And, sent, uh, and get sentenced for it. 
Mike? It's not salt, though, is it? Because, no, because officers because are getting the salt them. now because they, they've they lost the respect of the people. Yeah, well, and by, the people by, by implementing are getting wound stupid up by laws. Them. Own, well, know. yeah, because they're, they're money grabbers, that's what they're there for. That's why they're an officer and not a constable. Constable's like the old constable where you walk down the street and, you know, uh, yeah, excuse me, mate, your light's out. All right, uh, thanks for telling me, officer. I di- I'll change you when I get home. Yeah, no problem. Go yeah, off. like a community, sort yeah. of being a part of the community yeah. rather than being like, um, actually, nah, nah, you just do what I say because yeah. I am. Now you're getting yeah. an 80 quid fine, mate. Now where are you going? I know. Now, it's you know crazy, what I mean? That's an it? officer. Yeah, yeah earning money for the corporations yeah, for the true. investors yeah because that's it isn't it it all comes down all comes to a board money. of directors and yeah. like um, you know who, whoever someone's that is Some, someone's in charge of the purse strings yeah. up there yeah, yeah. so yeah it's, rid- definitely. it's ridiculous now they they lost respect now they've lost respect now they've lost money um, uh, as in they've lost 20,000 I think it's even 40,000 something like that but now no, we're supposed because to get they didn't another... actually hire any police officers for, or yeah, like, you know, for ages, years. yeah. And if you wanted to join the police, you had to join as a PCSO or whatever oh, they're this... called, right? And then it was like, well, them guys are on as much as the the proper coppers. You know me and you can't So there's no it. point. Why Why would you want to be a proper police person with responsibility when you can oh, get they're paid getting just more as much? Rights now, the, uh, well, the, I think the they're taking them on as, as actual police officers yeah. now uh, in stages. But yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they're going to have certain laws, laws to help them, basically. Well, I think quite a lot. I think it's funny when these laws just change without kind of anyone knowing about it. Do well, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is it. It was said around, but like you said, you didn't oh, know Oh, it was said it. around. It, oh, yeah, you know, it's like that um, that scene in Hitchhikers where he's going, oh, well, the plans were on display in the planning department. Well, you, and you he know, was like, I had to go down to a, the basement. Do you know there's a race thing going on about it as well? To a disused lavatory. Because we can't go, uh, uh, us as white folk where can't found go. found a, a locked filing cabinet. Apparently, um, at the moment, they're only trying to accept um, ethnic. Really? Yeah. Mm. And it's like, I think, I, 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 I agree in one way, uh, because uh, it helps to communicate between the police and the community. In what, the, so what, the kind of, well, no, I mean, fair enough, I mean, be equal opportunities well, like you've and got stuff like that, but it's like, you've no, got you should be taking, for everybody, you should, not yeah, just, I was going to say, you can't just take one yeah. group over the other, because then that's fact, discriminati- that, that's discriminatory illegal. against the other group. Yeah, I'm just yeah. thinking that, that's can't illegal, do that. that. Yeah, it, it will be, they, but could, they could do that. We'll find out if that is actually true yeah, 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 before, yeah, yeah. We go, before we take that story any further. Yeah, yeah, don't take it as gospel, but this is just what... Have you, I've been looking. I want to talk about this actually because Epstein's oh, this been in the one. news quite a lot recent yeah, um, this we've week. We got a message halfway through the show uh, at the beginning of the show actually last week. Yeah, yeah, we did, didn't we? I didn't know until I got when I got home and I saw that I was shocked. I know. I, I know. was even shocked last night. It was crazy because he got took off suicide watch and then by he was, his lawyer. Yeah, and then he was. But then um, I've seen a lot. Of, obviously, social media went mental. Yeah. We got quite a lot of kind of messages about it. Yeah, um, but. Wouldn't you think that... It's homicide. Well, yeah, because he was put in a cell, right, and then he's basically committed suicide. So can't, though, because he sna- apparently he snapped his neck several parts. So is, it, is he done it because he's going to be well, all watching his back constantly? Yeah, he was going to be a dead dog or anyway. was it... Was it orchestrated and it was made to look like a suicide? Made to look like a suicide, without so, a doubt. So, and well, the coroner saying, report come out today as well. Did it? Yeah, so what was the coroner, what, come out. Well, what was it saying? Suicide. Yeah, of course it would. Yeah. Because do you know who the coroner was? Uh, no. Right, well, the coroner apparently is the, the coroner who's been used for every single high-profile case, like so Martin Luther King, fuck. JFK, um, fucking fuck Michael Jackson, everybody, every sort of kind of high-profile um, case this that's the been, king. this is the guy who they call, and it's the guy that they called for this. So it's like if he was... And he probably knows fuck all. Well, anyway, this is this is a story that's just surfaced anyway. This is... Um, Jeffrey Epstein had an oil painting of Bill Clinton in a blue dress lounging on a chair in the Oval Office oh. um, wearing heels and stuff, looking... looking I can believe it. Air. I can believe it. Now there's actually a picture of this. Actually. The amount of dodginess going on. At- pointing at the camera. <laughs> is that the picture? That's the picture. 
No, is that a bit honestly? No, I think, well, it's the only image there and it's exactly what they've said it is. An oil painting That's of Bill freaky. Clinton in a dress. Bill, you got nice pins, like, but, like... Yeah, no, yeah. No, them red the, shoes the, don't the see The only you. thing that's missing... I know, yeah, blue blue, blue, blue and dress and yeah. red shoes. Well, red, white and blue, innit? Oh, right, Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, great, yeah. But he's yeah. got a sp- star spangled fong on. Oh, <laughs> no, please don't say you got a picture of me. The only thing that's missing is his saxophone. Yeah. Yeah, Hillary's sucking on that. It's crazy, though, because, I mean, obviously, we, you could go... I mean, now that, obviously, he's gone, there's still a lot of, kind of, speculation yeah. on what, ever, what shit might come out... Because there was a lot of people involved in oh, what he's saying, and Castile, you know, were like having open because he's got this. Again. Well, not even just that. I mean, in case uh, there's been like things with where he's been interviewed and he's got, um, you know, Russian. Oh mon- yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got Russian models yeah. and uh, Eastern European models yeah. all hanging around his. Well, oh, not even. I wouldn't say models. I'd say like just young girls. Yeah, Do you know some, what I mean? some new young girls have come forward as well. Now, I'm not surprised to be yeah. honest. So, I mean, now obviously now he's dead. Yeah, like, I They're think going... fair more people will come forward, but. It's, yeah, but uh, them who, who who've done it and where they can find the evidence, there's, there's still a big investigation of it. In in fact, it was only uh, this week, the beginning of this week, that they raided his island again. It's great. I know. Yeah, with his mad fifty six million pound home, yeah, his cockatoos. Um, the, right. Well, Epstein sixty six. Right. Um, also kept a mannequin hanging from the ceiling, dressed up in a wedding gown. So, so, so the source said. This, so it's actually it's just somebody saying that they've been to the house, right? I can't believe it with this freaking but, bastard. But, yeah, I know, but do, are, it, are these pieces not designed to kind of like, you know, make... Obviously, it's like they can say what they want now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Any wild fucking crazy cocker who store it, they can say, yep, yep, yeah. seen it, my well, source said. Yeah, but they can, uh, unless they can prove it, they can be, you know, sued for it. Well, he's not going to sue no one now, is he? Well, no, but his estate might. His family yeah. might decide to. Well, there you go. Um, we he, might have to do a bit more on this. getting sued by um, the girl who started it off. We'll have to cover a bit more of this when um, as stuff unfolds. Yeah, um, which but... hopefully we'll get more of the sick bastards out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, it's like with the... It's I mean, big kingpings, man. Of course That's the ones is. you need to get. But they can't because... Because right. the man's dead now, so he well, can't Well, not even a case of that. Not even a case of that. It's a case of the, the people who were in charge, these big kingpins, as you say. Yeah. Yeah. They're controlling everything. Yeah. So the media, what gets that, said yeah. in the media, what, everything. Well, so look at all no this point. shit that went on with Hillary's fucking, Hillary is, um, what you call it? They, uh, they, they probably they emails. probably got the high ups in the police and everything. So yeah, it's the like, FBI, the NSA, exactly. there was loads involved in in, in the cover up and cover ups. But we all know that it happens anyway. You know what I mean? And it's it's not a new thing. It's still the old the old sh- shitty thing that we can't get control of. Well, no, we'll we never do. have control over it because oh, I don't know. The there's a, well, there's a will, there's a way. Well, we we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. Well, no, because you just hope that these people just shoot themselves in the foot or eventually. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I think yeah, they've but been doing it gone. for so long and pulling the strings from behind the curtain. Yeah. They, 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 they're very good at what they do. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And it's oh, like yeah. they've got the the resources. Yeah. To kind of get themselves out of it if necessary. Yeah. So it's like yeah. they're never, they're never caught, got a prison. They're never caught up in it. No. Yeah. It's the people like Epstein who were the face of stuff like this yeah. that that get it in the neck when yeah. it all comes down on them. So yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. But the people who, do you know what I mean? Who's paying? Why has he got a private island? How come he's made that money? He's obviously investment. got investment. He was an investment. Well, leader. well, that's what they say. But is that not a lot of kickbacks from people who? Why well, was charged were, for trafficking? There you go. That's what I'm saying. So, so that's where not, he'd be getting the majority of his money. So but then say, he'd yeah, have no, to well, launder it. You have to say, oh, investments. Investments is yeah. just a bullshit way of saying I got it like gambling. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I yeah, was gambling yeah, yeah, yeah. on the stock market. All yeah. oh, right. Well, good for you. Yeah. But it's like that's not a. Le- it, you know, it's some not people legit, might say it'd be a legitimate way of but earning money. But he's put it money. into things where he can make it legitimate. Well, and it's like, like no, oh, you've, got a question, you've got a question how much of that money was um, acquired by Look. by um, investments Look. or what his uh, definition of an investment is. 
because an investment, in my opinion, is putting money into a business venture yeah. and hoping to get a return out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So and if his, his business venture is um, human trafficking, yeah. then obviously he's hoping to make him make a yeah, turnover. Yeah, he's going to make his turnover. Exactly. Over, right. Yeah. Well, there you go. Fucking well, tip. <clears throat> and like you know, it's just it's just let's hope, just hope uh, more more comes out that he drops a load more people in the shit before. Everyone can fucking scarper yeah, off. Let's hope. And this is it. I hope that more would have come out after the Savile thing. Yeah, you know but what? Savile, yeah, that but, did go but bits obviously slow. Savile didn't get found out when he was found out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He was found out after the fact. Yeah. So it was like, oh shit, he's dead now. He can't be. Re- well, the best we can do is take his fucking gravestone down. Yeah. And any sort of memorials we've got to him. Yeah, and he, he, <clears throat> he's still got. Still, dickheads whereas, who like him. Whereas he's, you know, so it's we've not really got much chance of kind of other people getting. Yeah, if we can't get someone like they that, could have, would have been already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas um, this is an opportunity to kind of get some people bang to right. So. Yeah, and hopefully this time it doesn't go back under the carpet and goes a bit silent again because well, peace think, offense did for a while, but then it's coming back offense. up again. Well, we can't say the other word. Do you know what I mean? Well, ah, uh, yeah. Well, oh. some people. I, I don't want to risk it. I like my podcast. Yeah, so yeah. I like to keep it on. So you know, Pete's offence has to be the one. Let's move on anyway. We've, but, we've yes. got plenty to get through. We have. Um, we've got a lot of objects being appearing in the sky oh, recently. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Do you know? Oh yeah. We'll get into that anyway because like um, this this has come up. You know when um, it was Elvis's? Was it his birthday or was it his death day? It was his death day. So is it 40 years since he died? 40 years since he was sat on the bog eating a burger and uh-huh. he had that crap and hey, he, he just pushed a bit too much. Oh, I'm Elvis. That was a really terrible Elvis impression. Of course, my mum would slap you. Um, well, anyway. Oh, wait, no, it's 20 years after his death. I do apologise. The Elvis um, show... Oh, wait, sorry, I do... Uh, come on, get it right. Come on, get me head right. So this, there's a photo that's um, come out now, right? Yeah. Which apparently shows Elvis 20 years after his death Right. right, and um, it's made conspiracy theorists Whoa. go a bit kind of like, it's here, I told like you Dr. so. Who. I mean, I want mine now. He would be dead now, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, this yeah, image yeah, does look like it does look like Tom Baker, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. man. I mean, it looks a bit like Tom Baker with, with Baker, Boris Johnson haircut. Yeah, yeah, that's a dodgy haircut, man. Yeah. So apparently now Elvis, um, it's been confirmed that Elvis did, um, you know, live on. For, according to this, um, but there's just a lot of bonkers claims. Um, but Fox News reporter Susan Stafford head down, headed up an investigation on the conspiracy in 2002, and in her investigation, she spoke to um, theoretic. Um, what is that? Um, Where? Uh, what's that say? Is that uh, psychologist? Oh, is that Doctor? Oh, right, Donald. so he's been chatting with this doctor, Dr. Donald Hilton, yeah. who claimed that he'd been um, treating the singer for uh, for some five years. Um, he claimed that he'd never wrote a book about it or covered um, about the cover-up. Elvis, who was um, penned, uh, who penned the book under the name of his brother, Jesse. So right. apparently this doctor's saying that it was um, he was treating him. Yeah, but and see, it, say, it depends. He, he needs to bring the evidence for So, well, no, yeah, but this is what I'm saying. She's kind of gone out, this Suzanne, and done an investigation on him. So, um, in the book, Dr. Um, Hinton claims that the photo was taken um, and it was alleged to be taken in 1997 during his visit to Lisa Marie's and his, her son, um, Benji. What? So, they're on it, in on it now. Seeing the grandson. Yeah, yeah, Lisa Marie Presley would have known about it. I reckon this is where Michael Jackson's got the idea from. Uh, yeah, it worked for Elvis, well, and then he was right, married then, so to Lisa and Marie. Did the same well, thing. no, no, well, yeah, exactly, they could have, and we, I'm not saying they didn't because yeah. there's been sightings of Tupac in Somalia yeah, would and loads of yeah. other places. Yeah. But yeah. his son's kicked off. Right, why? His son's kicked off because everyone keeps talking about saying it. that he's alive. Yeah, and it's <laughs> he's like, like he's not. I'm not got a dad. I tell you what, though. <laughs> He does. My dad. There is a guy down there who looks a spit of him. I must admit. Don't give him a hug. No, I'm not. Are you going to pay for the transport? No, me to get over there. So yeah, anyway, no. so she's basically saying that Lisa Marie knew about it, and like I say, I reckon this is where Michael Jackson got the plan to 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 fake his death. He took took advice from Lisa Marie, who who said, "Yeah, oh, this is how my dad did it." There's another pedo. Yeah. Who never got caught. And then um, when comparing the images against young Elvis, Suzanne said that it's the same jawline, cheeks, and eyes were similar to the King's. 
Um, she said the boy's face appeared to resemble uh, Lisa Marie Presley's son, Benji, as well. So, you know, it's not like it's one face you've got to identify as yeah. the, the, the original, but it's also the child. Yeah. So, obviously, that doubles up the sort of the, the le- legitimacy of the photo. Yeah. But after taking the photo to a biometrics, um, a bio- biotech lab yeah. um, in New York, Massachusetts, um, the photo uh, proved to be uh, too grainy. So, potentially, oh. it could be an uh, edited photo or something. So yeah, Elvis if you were going to do something, you would make sure it's too grainy yeah. so they can come back with that and they can't do fuck all about it. Well, There's your evidence. No, it's Elvis's not. alleged friend, Lisa um, Felix Johnson, who mm. believes the singer did fake his death, added, you can tell that's Elvis. Um, so uh-huh. she, she, she seems to believe it. So there you go. There's well, a lot more. There's a lot more to it. I think you just find that if you know Elvis well Presley, he's he, even if he did fake his death, he's long gone now. Then hold on. Then uh, his best mate and his daughter uh, should be arrested. Then what for? For conspiracy to to they've made money. Of course he have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But is it like you know? And so is he. They might, he must have had some money somewhere, unless he's so you don't, the You don't helping. think that... Yeah, that's what I was just about to say, that there was, there's got to be... These people have kind of been, you know, in the limelight for so long. They've, even Elvis yeah. Presley served his country. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was in, he was fought in the war. Yeah. Yeah, not Mike, Michael Jackson didn't, but, like, you know, the fact is that... Fought on the you know, <laughs> The dance-off in yeah, bad. That's yeah, it, man. of yeah. course. Yeah, so, like... When you think about it, like Elvis potentially could have had like a sort of government assistance in doing it. Yeah, possible. You know, you don't know what these guys are caught up in as well. Maybe it was a case of that uh, it was yeah. a, a witness identified, you know, like witness protection program sort of thing. Wow, well, yeah, true. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, there's there is a always a conspiracy. Yeah, that, that Elvis All was into something with, um, you know, some gangsters. Yeah, nothing's black and white these days. Got himself really? into some trouble. Grey or orange. You never know. Purple or pink. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so have we talked about this? Um, no, we haven't. All right, yes, yeah, so. We've talked about the fact that Area 51's getting a festival. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, li- at Little Alien. Yeah, so we talked about that at the head of the show, didn't we? Uh, no. No, we've not talked about it in the we show yet. We haven't talked it yet. Ah, right, okay. Well, um... I forgot where we're up to. The uh, the festival. Yeah, so I know, but we I had, I'm pretty sure we talked about it because I've not got the story up now. But um, there's another story here anyway. The town near Area 51 warns people to stay away from the planned festival. Um, the man behind the proposed raid for Area 51 is now um, organising a music festival in a town closest to the military base. Yeah. Um, but the nearest town to the area has warned people to stay away from the music festival being organised by um, a man behind it and he's called to arms that it um, shows more than 2 million people signed up to storm the base so they're expecting quite a lot well yeah no this has gone up hasn't it so so many have committed to the the proposed raid yeah and um, I think what the town are saying is you know it's going to just over capacity just too many people yeah. Oh, it, if the, everybody obviously, yeah, even yeah. if a fraction of those people turn up, well, then it's going to kind of ravage their little town. Isn't funny it? enough, actually, I seen uh, something today where um, uh, someone went driving down to um, Little Alien, and there has never been so many people, but yet there was only about what about ten vehicles there. Yeah, but well, they're obviously they don't want the crime as well because um, oh, I yeah. think there was one um, at the official website um, says. Um, it's a three day gig. Yeah. Will undoubtedly attract crooks trying to, yeah. you know, capitalise on the chaos. Yeah. So oh, yeah, obviously like um, they advise people to stay away and the oh, residential no, just... area of stay away from the residential area of the town, which has become a tourist attraction because of how close it is to area fifty one. And most locals don't like it where when you know, if there's gonna be an event on, how just, is it gonna affect them? Just do what thing. you would do if you would go to a normal festival, you know, look after yourselves, look after your mates, you know. There will be police there somewhere because they need to control it. Hmm. For one, the army's gonna be there for definite. 
uh, and the town, just be, you know, respectful and, uh, like, you know, respect the locals, uh, don't be a nuisance and, you know, go there, have some fun, but just, you know, respect that there's other people living around there. Yeah, well, fair enough. But the traffic thing, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be mad, man. And there yeah. are people who, I reckon, who are going to run across that fucking well, line and get killed. So the, the, the town's called Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so they're just kind of like worried that it's going to be too much chaos anyway, yeah. so... Yeah, take that into account because obviously people who do live there, yeah, you know, they don't want all this bullshit. Yeah. So I mean, some, pe- some people will be buzzing and get 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 you know make a bit of, make a few quid off it themselves, but yeah. you know they don't want. It's their place of home. Exactly. So you know they a still bit of respect. have to do normal things throughout the day. So anything else you want to discuss before we move on? Peterloo. Peterloo. No, this is this is um, yeah. actually a mad story, man, because this is obviously um, quite close to us. Yeah. Um, the massacre. The, the massacre uh, of Peterloo. Yeah, two hundred years ago. Yeah, so it was two hundred year anniversary. Like, yeah. was it yesterday? Uh, yes, I think it was. Yesterday, uh, actually, yeah. Yes. If you don't know, because I mean, there's a street just off, just near Victoria train station called Balloon Street. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So Balloon Street was the scene. Of, of the Peterloo or was yeah. it Peterloo Street off Balloon Street uh, I can't I remember it. yeah well obviously it was a I, when I first heard about it and then um, when I was younger and um, they were saying oh there was a massacre here and I was like really yeah, well, yeah. when was this do you know what I mean it yeah. was like thinking like what, a couple of years ago or... it went uh, Peterloo Street the reason why they, they, they put Lou on at the end right. is because three years uh, four years earlier Waterloo had happened. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. So the commemorative... Yeah, yeah. Put a loo on the end. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why they had the loo on the end, because I wondered that myself, why have you put loo on there? Yeah, it was used to be called just Peter Street, and yeah. now it's Peter... Peter, no, Peter Loo Street, Peter now, Loo Street, imagine, Street though, potentially. Yeah. Well, yeah. go on, give us a, give us a story. Well, the gist is, uh, basically, uh, people were trying to fight for their rights. This was before, yeah. you know, it was a, uh, it was we a, got a chance to bolt. Exactly, yeah, it was a, pro- like it was a protest, frosted, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it Jets, what's her name? Um, it was mothers and kids were in yeah. the, in the, in oh, the yeah. crowd, though, do you know yeah. what I mean? And basically, uh, the um, the horseback, one of the, the battalions uh, were there and forced to basically push through them. Yeah. Um, 18 people died, but we reckon there was more. Um, it happened in um, 1819. Uh and there was over 600 people injured. But the, this is it. When I first heard about it, and like I say, I was like, I, you know, when you're younger, you always expect yeah. things didn't happen all that long ago. Yeah. And yeah. Um, they were saying, oh, no, it was on horseback. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. With oh, swords a out. with swords on horseback. They didn't use like, the how swords long as far as I know. Do you never think about your city? I, I, sometimes I don't think about Manchester because it's been so redeveloped. Yeah, it's the, the most developed city, town, in, city in, in, in Europe, isn't yeah. it? And it's like um, when I look at it and I think, I forget that some some of the streets some and some happened, of the things yeah. and the history that happened on the streets, and we keep some of it, but yeah. a lot of it is just like nothing like it used to be. No. Do you know, I remember um, the old bus station at Piccadilly. Do you not Piccadilly in the Yarndale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah when yeah. it was underneath. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. now that's all where the new Yarndale part is and. You know, just See. loads of little bits. That it's like the fire think... station, the fire station, which ended up being uh, a morgue, and then they got rid of that and they've left it there for years, and now they're only just uh, starting to do something. It looks oh, like yeah. it's going to change into a hotel. Oh, probably. The, yeah. Most of the most of these things turn into well, apartments, yeah. or they knock it down. And, but it's like you know, um, you go St Peter's, no, Saint, yeah, St Peter's Square. That's yeah. totally changed now. And yeah. it's like I um, went there going when we went to Comic Con, and it was like. Oh, there used to be a cinema there, the Odeon, and yeah, you know, yeah. just little bits that I, you know, I had good memories of. Like, oh, it was one of the first times I went to cinema in town or yeah. whatever. So yeah, it's shame, but things. Yeah, but things have got to change. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, this is the anniversary. So it's always got to take into account that even though it might look like the most mundane little street, a yeah. bit of history might have happened on it that was, you know, well, quite likely. I'd- Someone's in some respect, or that, that I've always said that about when you live in a house and it's like quite got quite an old house. Yeah. You've got to think of how much sort, how many stories yeah. occurred in, and, yeah, the, and I, and, and then it's years. nice to feel like you're kind of like a chapter in that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. I agree with that. 
Yeah. So um, I've got a few more stories, a bit of NASA okay. news, and a couple yeah, of reviews as well because I've been a bit of entertainment news. Um, where I can find my book. I'm so disorganised tonight. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I've got it. Cool. It's cool. Don't worry about it. So yeah. So um, we'll go NASA news first. Yeah. So um, just bits of NASA news. NASA, NASA asteroid alert. Large space rock found two weeks ago is hurtling towards Earth. Um, the asteroid, dubbed 2019 PK, first spotted flying through space on August 5th. It takes his time pouring that as well, doesn't it? It's oh, sorry, really like late, he just can't fucking pour can't a cup it. of coffee out without it sounding like he's having a tinkle in it's the a background. Deep hole I'm it in. Bollocks, it's the <laughs> smallest cup I've ever seen as well. He's taking the piss. <laughs> right, yeah, anyway. yeah, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. They're talking about asteroids again. So, 2019 PK, um, it's been observed by NASA and. We'll see what happens. Seven seven hours ago, well, but a, you know, there's another one. There's supposed to you be. might not get to listen to this podcast in that respect. Oh yeah, that's true. So um, I've got a bit more news here. NASA Sun Probe um, spies um, the solar winds of the first birthday photo. Oh nice! Apparently, so I so, I need to see what this is about a bit more. One second. Well, uh, I've seen, um, well, NASA's on about a 1990 MU, um, which is supposed to come past us in 2027. Yeah. Uh, it's a country killer. That's how big it is. Fucking hell. And, uh, yeah, but when they say country killer, if you take out a country from impact, yeah, that's taking out everything else. Depends, is it going to be Ireland or is it going to be America? Oh, it's yeah. a big difference, isn't it? Well, you know yeah, I mean? exactly. But I mean, Ireland's called Ireland because it's an island, oh, whereas yeah. America's a continent. Oh yeah. So is it a continent killer, a country killer, or an no, island but America, killer? Yeah, the US is a country. Right. So let's say the US, or even Russia or Australia. You know. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's going past the sun, um, right? And it's coming round, and it should be round around about twenty twenty seven. Um, but this is one it's of them. Taking its time, isn't it's it? One of them ones that you know uh, uh, orbiting us, the sun coming back. Keeps yeah, coming yeah, back yeah. All the time. Kind of gets closer every time yeah. it comes the circles round. Because so. the big problem is we can't see anything from where the sun is. We can't see any asteroids or anything like that. That's that. That's where all these objects that are coming through. So we can't see where they're they're from. So you know, we can't see. We don't know if it's gonna. Well, maybe the probe might be able to pick it up as it goes past. Because, um, well, I'm actually pretty impressed the fact that they've managed to send a, a probe to the sun. It's the second one, isn't it? Well, no, this one. Well, yeah, this it might be the second one, but this one's lasted a whole year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the past, oh, this past Monday, 12th of August, um, NASA's newest probe, um, solar probe, celebrated its first year in space cool. in being. Um, Basically, as I'll close see. swoop and um, close swooped by the sun, so the Parker Solar Probe will make its closest approach to on September the first as it tries to collect information that will um, help scientists better understand. Well, I hope so. Understand the sun and its stuff, man. Yeah, man. We need to uh, know a bit more about our solar system before we start. Fucking hell! Five hundred and fifty-five degrees Celsius. Oh, so and that's just like the solar layers. Yeah, below. So then, like, it gets to thousands of degrees Fahrenheit as well. I think well. in the middle it's something like five million or something. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. It's surprising that these these don't just melt as they get closer, but it's like, say, it's been in space for a year. as well. So apparently that's probably going to be a lot of time just actually trying to get to where it's going. Well, yeah, but think about this. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. You could fit, like, a fucking billion Earths in the country. Yeah. It is massive. You know what I mean? It's not like the dot that we see in the sky. If you get closer to it, if you put it against anything else, it's just fucking massive. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But we don't really consider it that much. No, because you just can't, with that sit out of sight, out of mind, and yeah, you yeah, throw exactly. it up in space, and then it's like. But it just actually made me think about something because um, looking at these big solar panels on the sides of it, yeah, made me think of something you brought up about global warming oh, earlier. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Right. I never actually considered that, that actually solar panels might be contributing to the heat up. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. of, um, obviously it's reflective, isn't it? Yeah. And Even it, kind of like 
you know, to an extent, if we're putting more and more of these sort of like energy panels out, yeah, I mean, is it what is the effect? I mean, to be honest, I haven't checked uh, it into great detail, uh, but there is on um, YouTube, there is um, a few out there that have got actual evidence in front of them, it goes right through all the paperwork of uh, our. Like works. what? What? Yeah, because I think like if you were to turn around and say, "Oh yeah, trying to sell one or two, yeah, then the impact's relatively low. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the yeah. more we put up on roofs, yeah, then it's a lot of shiny reflective surface, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it, it, it's true. But for global warming, it goes back even f- further than that. Eighteen eighty-two was the first report um, by um, uh, by a, uh, a guy. A guy. Uh, some <laughs> yeah. guy. I'm trying, I'm trying to look for his Steve. name. It's called Steve. All right, Steve. Uh, well, oh, H.A. You're on uh, a Peterson. solar panel feed. Uh, first talks about it, put it out on the uh, Science Journal. Right, that actually these could be a, a, the, a negative yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, a positive. Yeah, basically, and back then it, um, it was, what was it, 7 billion... Um, oh, what, 7 billion... Oh no, go on. I was going to yeah, say I'm something, trying, but trying I can't to... remember what I was going to say. I yawned. Uh, right, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And I was in mid yawn and I was like, I need to help him. He's, he's lost it a minute. Yeah. And yeah. then I couldn't because I was there. I was in the moment. Well, the, the toxicity basically was 7 billion back then, but now it's 2. Right. Yeah. So it's gone down. So there has been some improvement, but it doesn't necessarily still mean he doesn't need any more. Oh, a bit of like a well, no, obviously. I mean, well, I think I think the the point of it is that if we need to clean our act up, well, no, we should have cleaned our act up Back ages then. ago. That's yeah. the point. Yeah, is uh, we're at the point where we're seeing effects now. Yeah, it's yeah. not. A, it maybe this could happen. It's yeah. uh, shit stuff starting to happen, and it's like he's no denying that something's going on. But it, again, I, but I, I no, no. But I, again, clean. I've said this again. You can't rule out that it's just natural phases of the planet yeah which because I, I, I think because is. the world's been um, a different terrain throughout all of yeah, its, it's ex- all of its time it's yeah. been frozen solid it's been uh, see, the, the the nature's got the power to turn a jungle into a desert yeah do you know what i mean over centuries and over decades so yeah. what makes you think that our little community and habitat we've kind of forged out for ourselves and built uh, built around yeah. and built up on this earth yeah that that's always going to be safe, yeah. And just well, we because the weather's do. clement today yeah. doesn't mean that a couple of years down the line that some geological sort of thing's going to happen yeah. that's going to make that a totally different ball game. And well, you you're not safe, and you're flooded, and you well, yeah, you know, all these different things that could happen. Yeah, and don't forget we're we're spinning on on a little bit of dust in a, a massive universe at a high speed going through the universe at a massive speed that every other thing around you is do, doing roughly the same thing. You know, it's it's it's, it's mind blowing. It's chaos, how, isn't it? It's like it's how not we are. Well, no, we take for granted yeah, that, yeah. that this is this is um our sort of ecosystem is as it should be and is as it is and that we get and defined will, will seasons change. and it's summer, why is it raining? And, you know, it's like we ask these stupid yeah. questions, but we actually, we but because we're not educated in the conventional sense that we kind of, everybody gets kind of taught yeah. proper, uh, proper properly yeah. at school. Yeah, we, we, we properly, proper, you know, we're taught a syllabus yeah. that doesn't really cover all that much. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I'm not saying people are ignorant, but if they don't go out and find it out for themselves, then they don't know about it, Yeah. right? Yeah. So they totally. need an explanation to what's going on, yeah. and the what's banded around on the news is climate change. It's yeah. like, well, all right, then, well, that must be it. So I'm, I'm not saying that it's not, yeah, but it, you know, you can't rule out the fact that it's, you know, the world's a fucking fickle sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah Nature's yeah, yeah. fickle, and it can flip on a dime and all that yeah so you know and the way i see it is if it was that important back in 1882 how it can't have been that important back then so why would it be that important now for them to actually change it in a big way we keep doing these little steps yeah fair enough but yeah we actually there was there was points when in history where we were absolutely fucking up the environment and did we see these type of effects then 
when the the streets no. were smoggy as smoggy as anything you couldn't see your hand in some, front of your face in London yeah you know? and we ended up doing stuff <coughs> about it. that's what we sort of do now as well, that's what like, I'm saying it's like, China, I've right? said this again it's like we're well, like saying with China it's smoggy, smoggy. Uh, you can understand why people like they, they walk around with um, dust masks yeah, on yeah 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 you know what breathing pollution and yeah. stuff but all oh, that shit nah man it's um it's already enough in, in food and everything else around. So, you know, but I mean in terms of like how it was then to how it is now, we've certainly cleaned up our act in a lot of yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean I've some countries that. need to catch up. Yeah, a lot yeah, of countries but, do. But you know, it's a step in the right direction and it's like, but is it too late? But then again, that's what I'm saying, is it all just a bit futile and I it was, we no matter what we did, brink. it was gonna happen anyway. Do you know what I mean? I think uh, I think we'd just be on the brink to be honest. Mm. Myself. I can't see. I can't see how things are going to change as much. I mean, um, there's even like school kids, you know, getting out of lessons to uh, to complain about this about how much the governments don't do anything and that. But they're still sat back and they're still not doing. They should have done it from day one. Yeah, of because, course. I you told you. I, mean? I told you when I was in school. They said slow. we asked the question: Would this happen in our lifetime? No. And they went, no. No, but you no kids, chance. kids, yeah. you know, when I was like, oh, all right, well, maybe there's yeah. time to do something about we it. We believe you. Yeah, but then it's you like, what, 20 odd years, 30 odd years later, and I'm like, yeah. oh, nah, you're bullshitting me. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, moving on, got some um, entertainment news. Entertainment. entertaining. Yes, yeah, so I got some entertainment news. Uh, a couple of reviews. Basically, what, what have you been watching recently? Have you watched anything decent? Uh, I've watched a couple of films. Why have you been watching, man? I watched the new uh, MIB. MIB International. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it was all right, actually. Yeah. I it wasn't too bad, but I would have preferred. A bit I more didn't. Comedy in I it. thought right, it could have been more kind of Liam Neeson and um, yeah. and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Yeah. I did like her as a character, and I didn't like the way she got into it. What, how she was just snuck it? No, she yeah, was... how she snuck herself in there. No, no, I thought that there, was you know good. I, mean? I thought that was good how she snuck herself in there, but what I thought was was a bit cheesy. I was like how all she just basically went, she complimented her on a suit and stuff, and yeah. she was like schmoozed up a bit and went, oh, yeah, well, you know, give me a chance. I found yeah. you and all this, and it was dead easy yeah, to, yeah. to get the job, do you know? And then it was all of a sudden... It was like, oh, we're going to send you on a secret mission to investigate the yeah, London branch. I think that's because like, she what, said you just she had joined up. You've literally just joined up. So what? What she had nobody. She, she had could nobody. Trust. To, no, she had nobody in her life. So oh, it was yeah, just yeah, her yeah, on yeah. her own. So at that point, you know, what I would have done if I was a secret organisation. After. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> right. So no one knows you're going missing. Bye. So, well. yeah. so she just infiltrated a well, secret organisation. <laughs> so that, that'd be a question. Did she lie? Oh, what that she didn't have someone that she did have someone yeah, she was right, just like she you know I, I'm picking myself up here really. maybe she did seem to want to be in, involved yeah so I, thought, I thought the she whole did film, all right job. as men in black films go it was good um, I thought Chris, Chris Hemsworth was I thought he, he should have done a lot better he could have done so. a bit but yeah, yeah because I thought I mean obviously they've got a good chemistry those um, yeah. I forget her name now I'm really sorry um, but I forgot her name um, Google that for us if you don't mind um, but I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how to use Google. Um, Let me see if I'm charged. So they had a really good chemistry in it, but yeah. like I thought that they had a better chemistry in four. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, yeah, it was the girl who uh, was she in plays uh, Ragnarok. Yeah, wasn't it? exactly. Yeah. That's right. So they they worked together before, and obviously they've got a good I sort of chemistry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's um, but Chris Hemsworth. I think the whole point of it is that he's kind of been mind fucked, hasn't he? Yeah. From the from the swarm or whatever the hive or whatever it was called. So oh, don't uh, spoil it for people. Oh yeah, sorry. I do apologise. Yeah, spoiler alert. Nah, yeah. I think he's been out that long now that I can get away with spoiler in the Men in Black. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, fuck you if you've not seen it, Saz. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna apologise. Um, I've got some review. I've what been watching some cool stuff this week. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you came down last week actually to pick up Mikey's charger, and um, like um, I, I was watching a series. I was binge watched it, um, The Boys on um, Amazon Prime. The Boys. The Boys. Oh yeah, the, I watched. See, the you go- oh, definitely no. have to see this. Was right? This? No, I know. I'm thinking of the Good Boys. Oh no, this the Good Boys. We'll talk about that actually. But The Boys is um, a superhero. Yeah, so it's Tessa Thompson who was yeah. the trying to think of. Sorry, I always forget names. So, um, the boys, if you've not seen it, 
I definitely recommend it. I binge watched it all, and if you like su- the superhero genre, yeah. this totally kind of flips it. Whereas, kind of like um, you know, absolute power corrupts absolutely, yeah, sort of thing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Power definitely, corrupts. and um, well, you even know, more so. So it's um, a group of vigilantes set out to take down a group of corrupt superheroes, and right. the boys uh, are definitely. Uh, pretty good characters and it's kind of like you take those stereotypes of like the villain and the hero yeah and kind of twist it and what like reverse role yeah almost reverse role so well yeah sort of because they'd still do they still behave how you'd expect a villain to behave but yeah. you're kind of siding on right, okay. with the villain because you understand the motives for it yeah you know? take so it it's on like, my business if they've got a good motive for it then you know you kind of if their motives are justified, then and it, go but they're a bad it. man, you could kind of go along with it. Yeah. Whereas, like, if they're just maniacal and doing it for the sake of it, like, like the Joker, yeah, yeah, yeah blowing yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. A, I mean, that, that, those are traits that make him a good character. Yeah, to watch. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't have a pint with him, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't want to kind of hang around with him. Whereas, like the the cast of this this series, um, you know, they've really. It's really kind of like they've all got the faults, yeah. But they're all very good people deep down. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So, but the the heroes are you kind of stereotypical heroes. Um, you know, it's kind of like I say, it's like um, they've been left, been able to do what they want for so yeah. long. So you know, they've kind of developed. They've their, taken charge of. The, yeah, they develop this sort around. of. Um, you know, I got a right to do what I want, sort of attitude. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely recommend it if you've not seen it already. It's on um, Amazon Prime. The boys, check it out. Uh, been rewatching um, Matt Berry's Toast of London as well this week. Uh, yeah. I just absolutely can't get enough of the. Yeah, I like him, man. The voice. Yeah. He's got a hot voice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He does he a lot of voiceover work, but I, I love the voiceover bits in Toast of London. Yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah. when he's gone for a voiceover job? Yeah. And it's yeah. like, hi, oh, it's Clem Fandango. Can you hear me? <laughs> he's like, hi, Stephen. <laughs> It's Clem Fandango. It's like, of course I can hear you. Fucking brilliant, yeah. So, yeah, if you've not seen that, check it out. He's piss funny. Um, but, yeah, but that's what led me on to the new series that he's got out, or a newish series. Yeah. Um, Year of the Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. watched quite a few So movies. I'm about halfway through that now, so I've been enjoying it. But he's like, um, I love it. He's like, how come you've only got one eyebrow? And he's like, the dog bit it off at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you've got a weird scar. <laughs> yeah, the dog bit it off, apparently. So, And also, Preacher Funny. Season 4. Preacher. Preacher, mate. It's so good. I've been waiting for this Series 4 for a while now, and um, it started... How long has it been going? Preacher, about four years. <laughs> three three right. years, fourth season. Um, it's a comic book property. Yeah. The Preacher gets the voice of God. And he's able to kind of command people to do pretty what much he what he wants. Yeah. And but he's Jedi a nice guy. Je- he's kind of Jedi mind tricky. Yeah. yeah okay. But it's all kind of like, it's got a lot of kind of dogmatic lore in it. It's a bit kind of, it's quite funny in a lot of ways, but it's got a lot of action. Okay. It's a good series. I mean, season one's a bit... Boring. No, no, not boring. It's just, it's it's a bit kind of like far saying. out. Right, okay. so you watch it and you go, mm, I'm not sure about yeah, this. this but I gave it a chance after that because I think it was the last episode of season one where I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to return to this. Yeah. And then I gave it a chance season two, and it's been they fixed everything. I, as far as I'm concerned, they fixed a lot of major problems with it. Okay. And then it kind of became a really good show. So I'm. Okay. Re- so I think there's a few episodes out, and I'm going to get that started on that. So yeah, and um. I'll one. let you know what that's cracking on there as well. Yeah. Seeing um top trailer and I put this on to you dinner um earlier. Um well you'd seen it actually, but Gemini Man. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. that looks so good. It, 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 it same Will Smith's not done anything like this since I Am Legend, as far as I'm concerned. You know, like you know like sort of serious sci fi. Oh, I don't know. No, no, we were talking about, like, he's done good films, yeah, and yeah. all right then. I said there was probably about three films that I properly liked his part in, and he more. named a few more, and I'll give him that, yeah, yeah. right. So there was, yeah, your bad boys, yeah, yeah, your men in blacks, yeah, fair yeah. play, yeah. I was like, Independence Day, Yeah. I am legend, Yeah. and this Gemini man looks pretty pretty good as well, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all kind of like Blue Genies and what else? Yeah, don't get me wrong, I've... I've 
I've seen some characters and, and I, I missed the film because like I didn't think it was I don't I think think it was right for him. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to Gemini Man. If you yeah, want to check out really the trailer to that, it does look very interesting concept. Well, it also it begs a question as well as of could this happen? Yeah, definitely. You know, cloning we're and stuff like that. I mean, I, I, you check the trailer out because it's actually a pretty good trailer. Yeah. And it's um, you know, I, I I sat up and watched. You know, when I when I saw this trailer come on, I was like, "Yep, yeah. this is for me." This. So um, yeah, definitely I check that out. I think that when the first time I saw it, I saw it and I thought interesting. And then by the time it got to the end, it was no, like, it was kind of like they, they've, they've kind of opened up these this secrets to this because the way they explain it is that Will Smith, so the older character of Will Smith, he's not like anyone else. He's got his and the way the kind of the kid who's obviously been trained yeah. to capture Will. Right, who yeah. is also Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. The younger Will. He can't get his head around that. You know, he every move he made, he was able to counter. He was able to kind of. Um, he, he said he was like a ghost. Yeah, but then Will Smith kind of comes out a bit later on and says, you know, why do you think they modelled you after me? Because there's no one else like me. Yeah, no yeah so that kind of job. makes me wonder, whoa, 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 who the fuck are you, Will? <laughs> do you know yeah, what I mean? Must be like what the hell. Big Tell me more. Killer or something. Now nah, there's got to be something like he's he's got he's very kind of like um, good at what he does. Yeah. But is he kind of good at what he does because he's kind of yeah, he likes that, right? Maybe he's one of these clones as well. Maybe he's grown up hey, and hey, it's hey. a big circle. Yeah, that's, that's you a, heard it here first. That's a might be a good theory. Could I don't be. know. Yeah, there could be yeah. hundreds of them. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's what he was kind of pointing at, saying like the, the, he's trying to create an army of them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, well, well, look, it worked in Star Wars, didn't it, really? What, Clone Wars? Yeah. Get a load of um, Bobas. Yeah. A bit of Boba Fett edge. Yeah, man. Bam. Mix My it best up. Bar, my Delorean. <laughs> Throw it in. Bam. Throw it in the microwave. Cook it for an hour or two. Bam. There yeah, go. there you go. That's it. Freezer. Go, can I have one for myself? Take home? Uh, no. Oh, please. Uh, call him. I'll call him no, Django. No, that attitude. You, <laughs> no, but, call him. Maybe taking you somewhere. I'll call him Kid Bobber. <laughs> Kid Bobber. <laughs> Kid Bobber. It'll be sweet. Right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's me reviews. That's my news. And that is me. So, have you got anything else you want to chat about quickly before we go into the main topic? How long have we got? All right. I've got two NASA ones. Uh, one that... Um, oh, you should caught... have said if we were NASA. We've done NASA news, I you know. pillock. Well, you jumped straight in, so I'll let go. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Right. Well, I'm conscious of time, you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You keep doing that. Um, yeah, there's one there, there's a picture of, um, you know, that sun um, satellite you're on. Oh, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, there was a picture emerged of a Park, uh, asteroid Park of Solus, the going into the sun. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, yeah massive one. And it was, uh, Exploded, did it? Yeah, Man. it did, it did. And another one, uh, 7th of uh, August, Jupiter was hit by an Earth-sized object. Really? Yeah. Now, in Jupiter, kind of mainly gas, anyway, isn't it? A gas yeah. planet. So what? But underneath I, the, it's, underneath I always thought that. Is it's got to be some sort of sort of terra firma. Well, it was a massive explosion, absolutely massive. The uh, size of the Earth, basically. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, you'd expect if a fucking. So where did this object come from? If it was the size well, of the Earth, because you'd expect that we would have seen that and called it a planet. Jupiter and the Moon are our. our Closest friends, and the reason why is because they're the ones who stop the meteorites. Yeah, that's but that's not a meteorite, is it? That's that's well, a that's is, a planet. Well, this right, is if it. it's the size of the Earth, then that's come flying through our solar system. Massive, why has yeah. no one mentioned it? Uh-huh. I know it's a bit well, silly, that it is. But I'm noticing that a lot, a, a lot of times now. Which at some points I can't blame him, but a lot of times. NASA and the European space agencies and all the other agencies stuff are missing stuff. lots of stuff. Or missing lots of stuff. Lots of stuff and uh, not stating anything. An extra planet in the solar system whooshing through and yeah. actually colliding with Jupiter is a big thing, I'd say. Do you well, know what I mean? It's not like, are we missing a planet now, by the way? Has anyone bothered to look if we're actually missing a planet? Because if a planet that was, you know, that something that big hit Jupiter... Where did it fucking come from? It's funny enough, though, because when I was looking into uh, Nibiru uh, and that, uh, there's actual footage of an energy uh, satellite. It just catches energy, yeah? Right. And Jupiter had been hit several times. 
Right, so we could actually Massive be like an energy pulse or actually a, an object. Well, don't know because there was something coming out of it as well. It was, it was, it was. I'm gonna weird. have a look into that because that's quite interesting. I want to find out where. Footage, I want to know what what this fucking object was and where it came from. Well, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, we Int- all want that. We all want that. Pretty interested. But so scientists like to hide shit. Well, they can't hide it because it's like you know. It's too big a question, that. It's too big a question, but they can keep you running around the bush and not show you the berries in the middle. Right, cool. Well, well what's your other story? Uh, that was it, them two. Oh, right, sweet. Yeah, well, we I'm, like... I'm ready to rock and roll. Right, well, um, moving on, we've got the main topic of the night. It's um, Area 51. Um, There's quite a lot of information out there on Area 51. We've got, we compiled quite a few um, different little stories that kind of have been interesting and, you know, like incidents that have happened around the area. Um, got a bit of information about the site itself. And um, like I say, I've been reading through some of these declassified documents and stuff. So that's quite interesting as well. So, um, right, we'll dive straight in. So Area 51, um, some might say the the government's worst kept secret um well, i don't know worst kept secret. I, I reckon there's worse but well what would you say was their worst kept secret i could did I say some you, might say some might say not taylor but some might say america's best kept worst kept secret so you know um the nevada testing and uh training range or the nttr is one of two military training areas uh used by the united states air force um, warfare at Central Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. Yeah. So um, the NTTR land area includes um, a simulated um, integrated air defense system, several um, in, individual range um, with twen- um, 120, one, uh, 12,000 targets and four remote communication sites. So it's pretty kind of big. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There's they been a lot of aerial f- aerial photogra- photographs of it. Yeah, so officially the facility is um, known as um, Homley Airport, or KXTA, or Groom Lake, yeah. right? Named after the salt flats situated next to the airfield. Although details of the facility um, facility's operation are not publicly known, the UFAF says that it's open train. It's an open training range and it's more likely to support the development and testing of experiment, experimental aircrafts and weapon systems based on historical evidence. And more. So, and proper more, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like the uh, UF, the USAF um, acquired the site in 1955, mm-hmm. primarily as a flight testing uh, the Lockheed U-2 aircraft. So the Lockheed, man, that's like, you know, one of the first sort of, well, they've got a demo. aircraft that was like high altitude, wasn't it? And like really kind yeah, of like Lockheed secret. Do you reckon a lot of those sort of early sightings of UFOs were the? Uh, well, yeah, actually, there was reports of when the U two went up. Yeah, and and, and it went further up than they expected it could do. Uh, at that time, there were a lot of uh, UFO um, phenomena. Um, I'm not surprised because they were probably forward. testing it all out, weren't they? Really, and trying to get it. Yeah, but it's a bit on. different to the, today, though. You know what I mean? It, there's a there's a bit of a difference to today because today now we've got footage, now we've got sounds. Yeah, now of course. we've got you know all these kind of. I mean, there's a lot of difference. Set. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, like back then, I'd say a, 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 quite a lot of it can, was contributed to kind of. But you don't know what they're testing now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we do we do still kind of have incidents, but how do we know that a percentage of that isn't this reversed engineered technology oh, like Bob Lazar was talking about, yeah. or you know where they've actually mastered it now and all these UFO sightings, which we are seeing a lot more of, yeah. are not just the governments testing out their new bit of kit. Yeah, but the problem come when they were spotted. Um, by the Russians, um, by the satellite, and then they decided to spread the word around the world uh, in 1990, I believe. Um, everything that was supposed to have been in there to do with any kind of UFO or alien kind of technology got moved, and it got moved to Ellis Air Force Base, I think it yeah, was. that's Not right. Not that far uh, <clears throat> away, really. And if you notice now, the amount of tunnels that are around underneath... 
there, there's some major uh, tunnels from that area. Right. Underground to well, so, other bases. Well, well, I think these tunnels are... Base every ba- tunnel. I think every base is connected by yeah. tunnels, but to yeah. be honest. Um, a bit of information here. The Lockheed um, U-2... Nicknamed the Dragon Lady, yeah. is an American single jet engine, ultra high altitude uh, reconnaissance aircraft operated by the US Air Force. Only ever shot down once. There you go. Um, it's the highest ever altitude are 70,000 feet or 100, um, what, what is it, 2,000, oh God, 21,000 miles. Fucking hell. Um, all weather. That's mad. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty sick. Thingy, and that's, yeah. that was developed like back in the 50s, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 50s and 60s. So, um, quite a few conspiracies that have been linked to um, Area 51, though, haven't they, to be honest? What's your what's your kind of, when you think about conspiracies and kind of the, um, it's obviously the Roswell incident, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, what do you know about the Roswell incident? Oh, I, I know quite, I, I keep, in, keep going back in and looking at it and it's sort of gotten like kind of boring, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it it was the set template and things get changed there and there and I've got to judge which which uh, which is the truth and which isn't. And then, like, I in, only tonight I, I watched a, a little bit on um, on it and it was judging that uh, nothing really happened there. Well, and it, 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 but the way they were doing it, of course, was yeah. Like they make no. it out as though it was just like oh the swamp gas and the weather balloon. So I mean. Um, Obviously, the Roswell, New Mexico UFO conspiracy, yeah. um, spawning popular TV series with yeah. like similar names, same name, uh, countless yeah, cable that. TV series and many documentaries, um, all alleged Roswell alien crashed in July 1947, um, was the encounter that was put in Area 51 on, the, well, basically put it on the map, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, so yeah, it was like for, it, like I say, it was a historical. Um, it's a, it's one of those historical it's sort of, of them, events, yeah. And I've said this, JFK, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of and ones. like always, when we were talking about kind of the time travel thing, where um, yeah. you know, where we're traveling, every UFO we see is us actually traveling back from the future and observing historic events, yeah, yeah. Which means that we would have known about the UFO at Roswell, which meant we would have had to send a UFO back to crash yes. and loop it. Otherwise we wouldn't have found that technology to reverse engineer to create it in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, So, yeah, so obviously the UFO Roswell conspiracy. So if you don't know about it, it, which you should do, because it's, like, say, one of the more popular um, things that you probably see on the sci-fi channel or whatever. 7th of Um, July, 1947. So they basically, um, it was a UFO crash, Yeah. right? Well, actually, there's two two conflicting reports that uh, they reckon that it something hit it, so two UFOs hit each other, right? Or um, uh, it was fired upon. And well, it, it was something another object of, uh, near it. So, like time. you say, in the, um, July 1947, a rancher by the name of Mac um, Brazil, Brazil found strange metals um, over his land in New Mexico. Um, he took the debris to the authorities actually he didn't he took it I think he took let his kids on. play yeah. with it one night yeah, and then one of um, his sons was playing with yeah it. so there's actually another account from the kids who say that they actually yeah. witnessed the metals as well but he says he gives them to the authorities in Roswell and um, the funny thing is as well um, do you know that it was actually taken to the next town yeah. over because yeah. they didn't even have a phone no. in, in Roswell no. so like you know when they back, had, in, went, the day, back in the day and report it, but because no, no, it was actually so when no, they didn't have a phone in the town where it was the yeah, crash happened, happened yeah. but because yeah, Roswell was the nearest closest town, they yeah. got all the credit, yeah. So, yeah, um, so they basically took, but then but they, they say that this was kind of taken away and then you know, yeah, it covered up. Um, and then they said, "Oh yeah, it was just a bit of weather weather balloon debris." Three bodies, one uh, one uh, nearly conscious, the other two were mangled. Apparently, there was obviously as well. There was kind of like um, ev- there was reports of um, trucks and stuff arriving, didn't they, to yeah, take yeah. to clear up the debris and um, no one could t- go take the it area off for ages. Um, and so you know, I mean, there's obviously a lot of theories. Um, well, have you heard the theory of the Russian UFO? 
No. This, right. Oh yeah, yeah, I have actually. Yeah. So go on. Well, the Russian, uh, the there's report and witnesses to this day. Uh, they're in books and that as well. That stating that it wasn't uh, alien. It was uh, Russian, and um, the the small people were um, how can you say uh, butchered. Butchered. Yeah. So... Butchered into looking like an alien. But if you think about it... Oh, in, right, actually, right, yeah, okay. if you think about it, in one way, I wouldn't put it past another country to try a little incident like that. You know right. what I mean? Because it, 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 don't forget you had uh, War of the Worlds not that long. Uh, yeah, that's what I was getting you know at I mean? earlier as well, with it, like radio yeah. plays and stuff like so that. They don't want, so they, they reckon that as soon as they tell us that they are here, we're all going to go screaming and... Running around like leafies. Well, don't get me wrong. Hmm. I reckon half the country, uh, the world will. Well, there's people who Deal must have point. kind of an inside knowledge about it, you know, and actually yeah. have worked there and know a bit about it. And yeah. like you find that you know some people do come forward, but they get called fucking liars or conspiracy theorists yeah. or whatever. And then there's other people who just keep quiet. So you know, yeah, it's it like lot, you yeah. can't kind of like judge it. Well, um, wouldn't you if uh, but, the military or some people in suits walk up to you? Or- house and say um we'll take you out to the desert and you'll go missing uh we're even we won't even touch you we'll take your family of course you'd be like well keep my mouth shut then Threats obviously deeper, deeper <laughs> do you know what i mean harder, harder well, for people to turn around and go all right then there's um, a couple of other conspiracy theories that have been linked to area 51 besides the alleged events that took place at roswell new mexico there's been uh, many other claims of ufo and extraterrestrial beings being taken um to be biopsed at Area 51 yeah. ever since the Roswell event in 1947. Um, there have been numerous alleged conspiracies that have said that to have been taking place, um, to, ranging from mysterious flying objects yeah. in the sky to alleged crash uh, debris. Pictures and photos um, around there. Has been always tried um, tested at Area 51 by alleged theorists. Yeah. And in 1996, the New York Times wrote um, a famed article that detect um, the so that detailed many things alleged by UFO experts and conspiracy theorist experts when it comes to Area 51. You can read more about that yeah. if you look into it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I've got a quite it. a lot of little stories here as well about um, do you know things that have kind of happened when people have tried to talk about it, or do you know people oh, yeah. who've come forward and yeah. said you know they've seen something yeah and one pretty one that um kind of caught my attention was and i actually kind of heard this on um art bell coast to coast oh yeah yeah um a few years ago and um so a former area 51 worker spills the beans on live radio um and gets cut off i think i've heard this Uh, yes i have actually so i've heard this twice so it's a bit creepy so um in 1997, a guy calls in the radio show Coast to Coast um, to, and was talking to Art Bell. He claimed that he used to work for Area 51 and he sounded pretty terrified, like he was actually kind of like on yeah, the he run. He was man. actually shaking in his boots, man. The guy was t- actually really quite terrified. He said that an extra dimensional being had been um, kind of in, interfered with, and lo- like, you know, when a lot of aspects of the military establishment were coming to wipe him out. So a uh, major popu- and he I basically says if we're going to wipe out major populations as well during the call the satellite transmission um carrying the show was um basically interrupted yeah all went down man. yeah everything no went reason. down and they believe that the government was monitoring the call and he interrupted and um, the man called back several more times but yeah. you know um I think kind of like when when stuff like that happens, it's like, oh, is it a technical it's, glitch or is it? Of I think if you've it. got that sort of conspiracy mind, anyway, yeah. Well, some of that. I mean, you don't know though. That could be just someone taking the piss and calling up and trying to get a. a well, that's what a lot of radio. people said. A lot of people were saying that, but the, like you said, the guy called. Like back. it could be a hoax. It yeah. might not be, but he did call back. So I mean, it's like, but a couple of them do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We've talked about the John Teeter thing. If it, that's you know, legit, yeah. then it's legit. But if it's not, then that guy's thought, hey, hey yeah, I'm going to call back. Yeah. 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 I'm going to string this along. Yeah, yeah you but... get some wind up at my uh, merchants out there. Oh, you know, man. Them. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got another one here. A pilot 
Yeah. He says he saw a huge blue and violet hologram near yeah. Area 51. The former pilot from the TWA, the Trans World Airlines, known as Michael D., claims to have seen something eerie on the desert outside of Area 51 in 1988. Air traffic control um, rerouted his flight to St. Louis to San Francisco for some unknown reason at 1am, 1, 1 telling him that his follow, um, fellow pilots to head north and await further instructions. The pilot uh, looked down on the surface of the <coughs> desert and saw a bizarre hologram appear out of nowhere. It was a blue and violet light crossing a 90 degree angles um, to form what looked to him like a diamond um, instrument landing system or an LIS, something that he'd heard of but never seen before in all of his years as a pilot. Okay. So, yeah. Um, it was a column of light at least five miles high and one and a half miles wide across. And then he saw 20 or 30 firefly-type lights um, fluttering around it um, way up in the sky. Uh, that soon began uh, making a hard right angle turns and zooming down in columns. The light then suddenly disappeared in the air traffic control told him to take a new course to San Francisco. Um, he asked his fellow pilots, did he? Did anyone just see that? Yeah. Um, and he just got the answer, no, sir, we did not. So I thought, ooh, that was a bit of a kind of a weird one, you know, and that's over the base or in the area. But when you said, um, like, holographic kind of... Oh, pro- like, yeah, yeah, we obviously started thinking about Project Bluebeam yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. But, but what maybe what his perception of what something holographic might be yeah. is just a technology that he doesn't understand. And he's just trying to explain it in the best possible way he can. Oh yeah. So yeah, how yeah. do we know that that's not just like um you know an air, you know how alien ships used to kind of land a landing system or yeah, kind of like you know we, we need we need landing lights and runways to yeah, land true. a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. And if it's a mother ship, you want to bring a you know small one. Bring a bit of stuff with you. Small so, ships. Yeah. yeah. Um. I've got a couple more. Um, I need a drink. So do you want to read one? No. Yeah, go for it. I'm just popped to get a, a drink of water. It won't be a sec. Uh, no, I want to talk about Bingy. Oh, go for it. Talk about uh, Lazar and what he reckoned on it, which was um, in an uh, area called S4, which was uh, a little area where um, it was hangars. He's seen nine UFOs. But the way he says it is he believes that they were... uh, There was one of them that was damaged, the rest of them were okay. But he stated that the way he believed it, it was brought up from the earth. It didn't actually come to the earth. What, like they just actually dug it up? They dug it up. But I do know of a report as well in... um, in Nevada Desert, uh, that a mothership landed, right. could not be moved, so the only thing they could do was bury it. Right, I believe okay. that was so part what, do you think that was part of the one, what, so they actually put the base there for that reason? Well, that, that'd be a good place to, uh, to put a main communication bay or ship between you and the aliens you are dealing with. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. It. I mean, you want to be right there when they land, really, yeah. don't you? If yeah. you're going to be... Because then you... Yeah, and if, if that's, staying, that's a hot spot, then... Yeah, that's where you set up, don't yeah. you? Yeah, but the reason why they did it was because they couldn't move the fucker who was that big. Oh, so right, they so they had, to, but they had to bury it yeah. and then create the base around it. Yeah. Fair but play. They, they probably hit it into the... Uh, place where the um fired uh, what was that s s4 s4 yeah was where was the hangar where uh lazar said that yeah like, there he was, was nine craft he was basically damage. um working there to what was it um it was, reverse engineer yeah reverse engineer and him. find out but it was all kind of decompartmentalized wasn't yeah. it so like nobody yeah. kind of knew what, what was anyone was really doing yeah. so and you couldn't even talk to your partner no yeah it right. seemed like a bit of a mad setup, but a bit boring. It's if you ask me, isn't it? Wouldn't you if you needed to hide something? Yeah, well, You'd probably go even deeper. <clears throat> got this one here. Um, Nitwit Tom DeLong says he heard alien chatter whilst camping near Area Fifty One. Ah, oh, yeah, he's, he's, no, I don't LSD, know. Mate, so yeah, I'll stay, mate. So I'll stay. I just fucking just 
unplausible what anything you say, to be honest. Yeah, pop, to be honest, And, yeah, and it's, I love how the story starts as well. Pop punk icon Tom DeLonge from Blink-182 as um, mm-hmm. a, a little-known side project as he's an alien hunter. He's trying to... Oh, so, in an interview um, in, in a paper from 2015, DeLong says that he spent a few nights camping near Area 51 to see what he could see what all the fuss was about. And that was only 2015. Yeah, yeah. and all of a sudden, he's like, you know, a few years later, he's an absolute fucking. Yeah, he's got a business on the go. He's, he's working like with the an absolute. He's getting you know, films yeah, and stuff that people can't get hold of. Does it? So um, yeah, he was camping near Area 51 and uh, to see what the fuss was about. He was see, and then he woke up. Um, Early on, 3 a.m., his whole yeah. body felt like it had um, static electricity, and he opened his eyes, and the fire was still going. And um, you know, he he went out of his tent, and he heard some sort of like alien chatter coming through over the over the radio. Yeah, his mates laughing in the corner. He says it was creepy. Um, he's never heard such chatter. Um, he's like kind of. He was strong. He on. thought he made first contact. Well. Never know. I mean, there's been stranger things like that. So all maybe right, this is did, it. Maybe but... he feels like he's been touched by an angel sort of thing. Where now he needs to kind of find the, the find the people who were talking I to think him. He's more likely have been touched by a vicar than an angel, to be honest. Hey, Tom. <laughs> but uh, I think I like you said. I I sort of don't believe the words that come out of his mouth. You know what I mean? He hasn't. I don't know why they picked him. I don't know why like. You know, he's getting out all this praise. I mean, isn't he bankrupt? Well, you, no, not bankrupt, now. Because, like... Oh, someone paid his bill up. Well, no, the, 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 reach for the, the Reach for the Stars Foundation is is really kind of hemorrhaging money, as far as I know. Yeah. But, like, he... As I was reading before he set this up that he had some sort of problem with his family trust of some description... So, like, um, well, I think that's doing fine now, but yeah. he's to the Stars Academy. But, I mean, he's had a lot of different businesses where it's all been filtered through that. So, you know, not the through the Stars, through his family's thing. So, so like the family trust and the legal He's set up all level. sorts over the years, you know, and it's like, I'm not sure, because it's like, I don't know if anyone's looked into it, or if they have, and he's on the level, I don't know. Well, if he's got a, if he's got family trust, well, that that's where, that's to me, that's just straight off. Right, if you want to hide stuff, or you want to do dealings and make things prolong and that, you, you do a trust. You do like a family trust. And everything goes in the name and then you, you can decide stuff like, all right, we have a meeting once Falling a year. The couch. So let's say I get pulled over for a driving and a ticket. Oh, well, I can't deal with it. I have to go to the trust. Okay. Well, well I only we only meet once a year. If I remember, I, I'll bring it up. Well, you know, um, s- stuff like that. There's loads of... Uh, well, dodgy things with trust. I just don't, I just don't one, think do that he's the right guy for the um, the job in terms of. No, I don't. I think I think if anything, he's made it more uh, more of a joke. To be honest. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's kind of he's... He, he has he has pulled pulled things back a little bit. But with the video, <laughs> well, you'll think you know the next I mean? story I've got to tell you is pretty funny. Then, if you think Tom DeLonge's uh, made it all a joke, then. Um, here's one the Roswell aliens might have been tiny Soviet engineered Soviets engineered by Nazi fugitives yeah this is like the report I was saying before about how they reckon that um, uh, Himmler I think it was who worked with um, uh, the Russian uh, president Uh, um, well Los Angeles what uh, Sterling alright okay Right. Well, um, uh, Los Angeles Times journalist Annie Jobson um, was pretty creep cre- um, was pretty creepily explain um, pretty creepy explanation for the little grey men of Area Fifty One. Jobson says um, that she's a first eyewitness. Told her that the little grey men look like dudes that allegedly crashed in Roswell in nineteen forty seven. Um, Child size Soviet. Pilots from human um, experimentation programs. Well, there is a little bit of evidence to say that. just sounds stupid, doesn't that. it? Oh, straight away. So what? They they got these pilots who were kind of little, like yeah. you know, little pilots, yeah. and then they chopped them up to make them yeah. look like aliens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, there's 
There's quite a bit of um, evidence to state that they did this kind of stuff. That's stupid. Yeah, no, but it was like... It, to be like honest, Hitler... I mean, it wouldn't put it past him, but like, yeah. you know... It's I mean... like Hitler's like, mob. you know what I mean? The doctors on there, the, the amount of nasty shit they've yeah, done. Yeah, but they've tried, they people have help... tried faking stuff since, yeah, right? And we've seen like little fake aliens where people have come forward with a, a cadaver or whatever and said, oh, we've got an alien... And they've gone, all right, or not even just an alien, other stuff as well. Yeah, like you... random little creatures. And they've gone, oh, I found a fairy. And then they send them off for analysis and they go, you made that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but it's bollocks. We... Do you believe that the, the... In fact, there's a ufologist who's been None done for it about now. three times. Yeah, it's happening now. There's yeah, a guy yeah. who's just been done for it. He's been done for it about three times and yeah. he keeps coming back. We've, I found a real one this time, yeah. guys. And then he gets a big cob. Well, yeah, well, if it can happen now, it could happen then. Yeah, totally. And it could have started, you know, from then. And I mean, it's it, it's like a new idea, you know what I mean? Scare Americans by saying that the UFOs, you know, we need a little bit of evidence, right? Let's get a, a, a couple of kids, do some whatever weird shit they're doing yep. them, and then throw them in the ship, crash him, and then make the Americans think, and then, you know, psychologically psychological warfare well what about this guy he claims to have smuggled out um, actual footage of an alien interrogation at Roswell I think I've seen this one the man known as only the vicar says he smuggled video um, from an alien interrogation out of Area 51 in 1996 the video shows a small um, bland like sort of like small black eyed um, alien with a bulbous head yeah you know, typical grey. Yeah. Um, that appeared to be in distress. Um, yeah, yeah, I know which one you're Its head looks about. purple and yeah. bruised, as it, it's as if it had suffered some sort of contusion. After, um, you know, to the to the yeah. head. Um, yeah. and at the end of the tape, the alien appears to have um, a seizure and starts foaming at the mouth. Yeah. Ufologists still debate the tape's very, um, you know, authenticity. It's a good. But good make if it is. Or it's um, saying it's so it's a bit dark. Yeah, and, does it, um, it? It's in a dark room with him. Sat yeah, and chair. there's no audio either no. to the to the um, the video. No. So you know, and then um, there's another thing which was um, what does D- DNI stand for? Um, does my local? Um, yeah. So it's weird, but uh, you know, I th- I I think we did right. We did catch some it. Mm, yeah, well, I've seen that but video it, myself, so you know, I think I know what he's talking about. But yeah, I think there's kind of loads of different like stories and evidence that might kind of suggest that summit is going on down at UF, um, that going on at Area 51. I don't I think, think so much now. Why not? Well, yeah, it's, they probably moved it now to another well, yeah, location. Yeah. I think definitely right. Um, but I think they've still got stuff there that they can't really talk about. Yeah, so that's we're, why we're they've declassified yeah. it. And we could, I mean, obviously, oh, shame, man. We've not, we might have to save this declassified stuff for the extra because we're definitely running out of time. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be a bit more deep dive with this, but we've got some um, claims anyway about Area 51. Yeah. Despite uh, making headlines during the balloon crash in 1947, Area 51 didn't really get um, its sort of reputation until the late 80s yeah. when obviously we were talking about Bob Lazar told the Las Vegas television station that he was working in a mysterious site called S4 near Area 51 um, reverse engineering uh, spaceships um, it, but in this article that I found they do make claims that um, he's not telling the truth that he's um, not on the level saying basically that he claimed that he was a graduate from MIT and um, Caltech but actually went to neither. Um, but then yeah, obviously he says he claimed that he worked for the Los Alamos National National Laboratory, which also turned out to be false, or were they? So I kind of think when I'm like, you know, obviously I've, we, I was watching a video before, which was like Bob Lazar um, being analysed by a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a, in, it? yeah. What are they called now? Body language expert. Yeah. So, you know, when they were they were literally kind of scrutinising every sort of action, he was backing his what his claims up with um, scientific yeah. um, explanations. Yeah. He wasn't displaying any acts of, like, being a liar yeah. or kind of fabricating his story. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, the government are pretty powerful when it comes to, uh, you know, documents and, yeah. and, and you know, your files and yeah. stuff like that. 
So I think that, you know, if they wanted to make someone disappear well, on paper, they, it's pretty easy to do. All they've got to do is kind of say, no, he never went here. He's, well, off, the, he's off the system. Well, that's when he got fired. That's what exactly what they did. They tried to uh, get rid of every bit of evidence. I remember this at the time that every single bit of evidence they were trying to get rid of. Absolutely everything from his birth to uh, his mortgage to his wife, you know, everything. But um, he managed to, uh, they managed to, like, get a lot of people off the trail and start thinking, oh, right, yeah, yeah, he was like a liar. But there was a a certain amount of people out there who who kept their eye on it. And he went out and got, um, like, his evidence back that he's here. He, He did go to this place. He did go to that place. This person worked with me, blah, blah, this, that, and the other. And then it found out that he, he, he was on certain paper. Yeah. Well, whilst um, many of these UFO and alien conspiracy theories may or may not be true, the fact is that the US government now admits that Area 51 is real. Yeah. And uh, many of the national defence planes, other guys. aircraft, although they're um, you know, being built and tested yeah. at a large area, Black which Air, is Black basically Air. at Area 51. Um, so, I mean, there's one, Project Aurora, obviously, yeah. which is um, being flown around the Area that. 51. Where, uh, or, uh, do you know, the, 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 there is activity there. There is, They are doing stuff there. People are flown into that air. Yeah. You know, if you work there, you get flown in on a special um, yeah, plane, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so there's obviously stuff going on there still. Well, but when you turn around and say yeah, the aliens, I do agree that they, they probably have another site yeah. if there is such a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been kind of moved off. But so, you, so they can kind of say, yeah, Area 51's here, guys. You can, you know, you can see it. But then again, it's like I was saying about like all these underground facilities. Hmm. It's the best place to keep your he- keep your secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you, you know, no satellite. Area 51 was above ground and was easily shot. Russians got pictures of it in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. It, 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 it was highly known about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. Well, did you know how Project uh, Aurora uh, got caught out? Well, I don't know, but we were very, very lacking in time. We've got about five minutes oh, left of the show. All right, quickly, basically what happened was over Mexico and random areas, they were finding uh, that a noise was going past them and leaving little donuts in in donuts. the sky, like you know, off its uh, off the back trail. Right, okay, it was yeah, like yeah, leaving like little, donuts, ooh, ooh, little small yeah. rings, and it got people like complaining about it because it was happening time and time again, and no one was answering the question. So they went out and investigated it, found out it was actually uh, Aurora uh, spaceship. Uh, oh right, okay, oh, shit, spaceship, yeah, spa- bit spaceship. Yeah. It's got so many, so much more. Yeah. About Area Fifty One here that we could go through, but unfortunately we're getting running running way out of time. Yeah, um, we've only got a bit, a couple of minutes just to close off the show. So um, well, I think we'll carry this on in the extra. We'll do a bit more on Area Fifty One. We'll do a few yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Area Fifty One facts yeah. for you, um, maybe the, a top ten of some description. Um, so yeah, if you want to get in touch or you've been interested by anything we've said in the show tonight, you can con- contact us on email at neverstraightanswer at gmail dot com. You can get us on Twitter at nasa underscore never and on Instagram at neverstraightanswer. Um, you can get us me on my personal Gaz Duncan Instagram, um, Twitter, all that. Can't get Taylor on anything because he no. doesn't use social media. Um, you can get us on every platform available we're on all the podcast platforms yes, whichever are. you want we're on um itunes and spotify and absolute radio no we're not on absolute radio iheart radio yeah. itunes and well, what was the other one um the i tune in radio anchor yeah Castbox, yeah everything yeah google podcasts the lot we're everywhere so if you want to tune in you can just easily find us yeah yeah um, also, um, if you want to help us out, you can stick a few quid in the Patreon. That's a big help. And yeah. we're kind of always actually about halfway there now yeah. to get in um, some new... Uh, getting this mixer so we can make it sound as good as it does um, not all the time because we've got to give it back at some point pretty yeah. soon, as I should expect. Uh-huh. So we'll be back to our normal quality yeah, of show yeah yeah, yeah yeah which ain't too bad but this it's is. not too bad but yeah it could be it'll be this good yeah it could be like this 
Yeah. All the time. So, a uh, hound or a dog. I think it whatever. sounds great, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, well, when he's on this mixer. So, like, and, he's, and it so, opens up so many opportunities for us as well. So, yeah. in terms of doing things with the show. Yeah. Um, as you saw last week. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We can do more of that if we get this equipment. Also, so, so, yeah, on Patreon. And we're going to, we put some stuff up there as well for kind of like Patreon yeah. um, subscribers. So, um, not had to put anything up for a bit because we've not got anyone. No. It's got Mr. Swoosh. Yeah. Mr. Swoosh, thank you. We do appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, we do. Um, and on Bye-bye. that note, I've got a few shout outs. Right, you know. Got a few shout outs before we go as well. Yeah. Um, right, yeah. A couple yeah. of shout outs. Thanks to everyone who got involved with last week's um, live episode. It was yeah. really cool. Um, yeah. Give a couple of shout outs. Got one to Pod, H- Pod HQ. Um, yeah. Randomosita. Random Mr. Crabtree. Yes, Mr. Crabtree. Um, the um, Unexceptionals pod. Um, and big shout out to Jay, Mike. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Rick Murray. Um, Jake for yeah. getting um, in touch. Yeah, said we, he loved the show last week. Yeah. Um, Lenny. Big shout out yeah, to Lenny yeah. as well. Wayne, he's, he's Wayne, Wayne, you can have a shout out. Yeah. I'll let you. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, big okay. Um, yeah. And a big shout out to my um, big uncle John. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, just being big Uncle John and yeah, yeah. awesome yeah, right. um, and yeah I think that's um, pretty much it for the show um, I've been Gaz I've been Taylor and we'll catch you on the midweek um, extra yes. where you find out a bit more about Area 51 we've, we've got way too much information this week yeah. so um, we'll catch you yeah, next time peace out the podcast you just heard was made using anchor ever thought about making your own podcast anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started it's a one-stop shop for recording hosting and distributing podcasts best of all it's a hundred percent free sign up now at anchor.fm slash new that's anchor.fm slash new to get started